It's the one you've all been waiting for. We're at Ascot for the King George the Sixth Stakes over 12 furlongs. Group 1 for three-year-olds and up. Ish 2 de Vere. Leon van Rensburg. Looks a big price there. Kings Dine Avon, Alex Ince. Belladonna, Joshua Sutherland. Here's Zetkin, Steve Ran. Nagalis, Darren Thompson. Queen of Night, Leon van Rensburg. South Africa, Ryan Tamasebi. Adversaire, Aversius, Jim Murray. Barkston Daly, Davy Lad. Initialize for Craig Allen. Sea of Tranquility, Paul Rhodes. The Best of Us, Joshua Sutherland. The Great Gatsby, Dan Hughes. Time to Shine, Craig Beckwith. Meghan Markle, Dan Hughes. Monumental, Paul Rhodes. Out of Control for Obi-Wan. And The Mandalorian... For Craig Allen, completes your lineup here at Ascot. They're away and running for the King George VI stakes. A fascinating contest. We've got the Mandalorian initialised, both following up from debut wins over in Ireland for the uh, the Irish Oaks and Derby. We've got the English Derby winner, Barkston Daly, looking to get back to winning ways. Belladonna, last year's Oaks winner, looking to finally get another winner on the board this season after starting off so well over in Dubai in the Shima. Adversius is another one of Jim Murray's front runners that's going to set this early pace with lightning fast ground so expect a fast run race and a fast finishing time here at Ascot and uh, we've also got Ishtu de Vere who's won some big races so far this season and Queen of Night uh, both of those from the Leon van Rensburg stable Qu uh, Queen of Night has um, had to settle for minor honours in so many races so far this season lots of seconds and thirds can she go one better today and uh, she's going to have to get through a lot of traffic problems again, which has been a downfall quite a lot this season. And initialise for Craig Allen is also going to have to pass a lot of horses and is likely to face some trouble with where that one's racing from at the moment. Six and a half furlongs to go. Adversius setting the pace. Belladonna usually sets that pace, but is racing handy just in behind the leader at the moment. The best of us from that uh, same stable has the rail. Uh, a South Africa racing on the outside. That one really likes the quick round, so hopefully she can put in a big run for my stable. See a tranquility just in behind those. Here's Etkin. Barkston Daly, the derby winner, is in the blue and purple striped silks with the yellow hat. Just making some really smooth progress through the field there, Barkston Daly. Uh, out of control, racing up on the outside. Monumentals trying to get going for Paul Rhodes, but is racing widest of all. The Mandalorians moved out really wide as well to make sure that that one gets the daylight, but Adversius has kicked a good few lengths clear as we're into the final three three furlongs the best of us and belladonna are trying to make some progress boxton daily after making some eye-catching progress has now started to hit a bit of a flat spot but is picking up again the derby winner we're in the final two furlongs adversius has really set for home can anything rain this jim murray runner in the best of us and belladonna are both staying on south africa's there see a tranquility is trying to pick them up megan markle's getting going as well queen of night has burst out the pack and as is initial eyes and widest of all megan markle the great gatsby's there sorry in the final half of Furlong. Queen of Night has flown from the rear of the field and she is finally going to get a win on the board. After so many placed efforts, it's Queen of Night that is the Queen of Ascot in the King George VI Stakes. No traffic problems today. Really cool ride there. And when the daylight came, that one is absolutely flown home. Wins it really well. Adversius, the long-time leader, still managed to hold on for second and that's a massive run for Jim Murray Stable in second place. Belladonna Another really good bit of prize money there for the Joshua Sutherland stable is that uh, the Queen of Epsom last year and the Queen of Dubai in the Sh with the Shima Classic win has got another good third here in the King George's Six Stakes. Time to shine a good run for Craig Beckwith. Initial eyes, uh, stayed on into fifth for Craig Allen, but all about Queen of Night here. What a win. Won very cosily in the end for Leon van Rensburg. Wins the King George and Queen Elizabeth Stakes here at Ascot.